To submit an assignment, the easiest way to do this is always to go right to the assignments folder in the navbar because there you can see all of the different assignments that your teacher has asked you to submit. Now, when you look here, okay, so I can see unit one, I've got this assignment. Unit two, I've got this assignment. Unit three, that's my assignment, okay? Now, other ones will show more assignments, but it really just depends on what your teacher is expecting you to do. So you can see here that I already have some feedback that I have to view. I've submitted one uh, already, but let's say here, I want to submit something to my stress poster. So I'm gonna click on that actual assignment. And then this window again is going to pop up, right? This, uh, this editor here where I can type in, I can insert images, I can insert video uh, through video note if I want. Um, but one thing that I have to do, anytime I'm submitting something to my teacher, I can't just type into here. This is just the comments section. Uh, so what I really have to do, notice it says files to submit and there's a little asterisk there. So you do have to submit a file. So that's either going to be add a file, record audio, or record video. Now if you click on add a file, it's just going to prompt you to add it from multiple locations. So again, this is where if you've set up your OneDrive through Office 365, you can click on OneDrive files and access your OneDrive from here. So in this case, I haven't done it with this account, so I can't access them. But I can access them from my computer. So if I'm using uh, if I'm using my laptop or something like that, um, I can either drag files in or I can upload files. Let's say I just want to upload an image, so I can do that. I can upload multiple files as well. So if I want to load in that Word document, I can do those. Click Add, and you'll see that both of those files are now being uploaded. I can type in comments or I can add in a video note like I said again, and then I can click submit. Now then, notice here it says file submission successful. That's what we want to see, and you should end up receiving an email to your D2L account, which I'll show you in a couple seconds. So click done, and it brings you back into uh, where you can now see inside the assignments, stress poster, there's two assignments because you submitted two files. Now you don't have any feedback to view yet because your teacher hasn't marked it, but let's change that. I'm gonna go back to my homepage just so I can see this in the course updates. But if I go back to that homepage, you'll notice now that there's actually a, a message alert here. Um, and well, that's actually a confirmation email. Uh, when you submitted that assignment, an email came in that said you submitted it properly. So I'll show you that in a second, but when we scroll down here to the course updates, what you'll notice now is that, oh, there's two assignments with unread feedback. So we'll click on those two assignment submission folders with unread feedback, and now you can see, oh, a teacher's actually marked this. There's two files inside there, and I can click on view, and when I click view, I can look at the files. Uh, that's originally what I submitted. And then down here is now the feedback. So my teacher gave me 20 out of 20, and the feedback that they've given says, outstanding work, you are awesome in everything that you do, which is so true. But um, you'll actually get meaningful feedback from your teachers through here. So you can view that, and then now you can see uh, this one is still bold because I haven't viewed it, so let's go in and view it very quickly. Once I viewed the feedback, great job on this, I like the way you submitted your assignment properly, yada, yada, yada. Now if I go back to my course home, in that update section, I'm not gonna see anything, right? Because I have read the feedback, okay? So that's how you can access uh, your assignments, see what you've submitted, get your feedback from your teacher.